But I can, I can tell you, we uh, Phil and I made a horrendous mistake once a few years back in uh, in London. While more so, uh, I had made a horrendous mistake. Well, it wasn't a normal evening for you either. We made the mistake of going casually drinking with Mike Wilmot. <laughs> We were having pints, which I'm not, you know, a pint is good for me. That's if I'm meeting friends, that would be more than enough volume of wait, beer. Wait, wait a minute. We were drinking in the afternoon that day? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And yeah. and then after oh. after a couple of pints, which, as I say, was can, one pint. Can I, just, can I interject one more time? Yeah, all, I, all I really remember from that night was teatros. So continue the story. I'm, I'm curious. Well, you must remember the police station. No. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're we're about two beers beyond oh. where I should have been I- at any point. You now you remember. I, I remember the police station. It's coming back. And, uh, <laughs> so at about maybe four thirty-five <laughs> on a really nice afternoon, we just horrible. It was the worst realization I've ever had in my life. We thought all of us collectively at the and and this is such an odd thing, guys. Such a an infinitesimal odds of of uh, potential that we all these three guys were really really busy in our own lives individually. Just realized almost at the same moment that none of us, for whatever crazy reason in the universe, were not working that night. And all of a sudden, at this picnic table beside the Thames, as we're just getting a bit sloshed, realized, whoa, we don't have anything to do tonight at all. So at that point, Wilmot, of course, said, well, why don't we, why don't we go out and have a drink? At this point, I'm thinking, like, retrospectively, we've, we've already had. <laughs> Aren't we drinking already? Phil suggests the great place to go at this point, Teatros. Teatros, yep. Because their big drink of the century is uh, absinthe in its many different forms. So, uh, <laughs> but, but proper absinthe, you proper can't, from absinthe. Czechoslovakia, uh, it still has the wormwood in it. Sure, so and it still has a real, picture of Van Gogh without an ear on it, real deal. blood spattered, uh, you know, picture of him with a knife. Yeah, you get a little Authentic. ear. Authentic. little ear in the Comes bottom with of a like cup, because yeah. you're probably going to be drinking it somewhere that you're not inside. So we go into this place, Teatros, to, to drink with Wilmot, who we're already drinking with. And uh, it started with the kind of parfait glass ones, all the different fruity colors and strawberries on it. Then it went to the traditional, you know, cook the cook the sugar. Uh, the sugar with the absinthe in it. Pour that into the absinthe. Shoot it down like a like a uh, like a tequila shot. Yeah. Basically, anything you have to heat a spoon to drink, I think, is probably <laughs> yeah. you're heading into a weird area. Yeah, you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Well, there was there was the last call was ordered, and Mike went. Should we just have? Will we have another one? Went. Yeah, and he got us triples, if I remember correctly, yeah. because he thought. And then he had us drink them through a straw. So that's the last bit that I really remember clearly. And then we're to meet in front of the club. This is very clear to me because yeah. everything is very clear in snapshots when you're that high on absinthe. Literally at that moment, it was like a, a grenade had gone off. Our lives went into absolute. We were we were pumped into every direction. I'm now in the front of the club looking for Phil. Never ever saw him again that night. Looking for Wilmot. Never ever saw him again that night. I'm in front of the club watching the door for what I thought was long enough that they're now closing up. Didn't see any of them again. End up in a cab with a, I'll never forget it, a Nigerian dude. We were able to get back to my house. Got into, I remember distinctly getting into the bathtub clothed. And then just began screaming, puking. Just, ah! 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 Like went from clearing my guts to just shrieking for hours. Literally praying to the good Lord to take my life because of the pain I was in. As our flatmates, uh, flatmates bent over the bath going, help. Where's Phil? Help. Where's Phil? Yeah. Craig, where's Phil? Oh! <laughs> Uh, where's Phil? Where was Phil? Where, where, oh, where, where was where Phil? Was Phil? <laughs> where was Phil? So cut to, Phil. let's go to the next day now. Well, that's when I came what, home. Yeah, we're talking, what, noon the next day? Maybe. Maybe. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Phil arrives. He's quite, he's disheveled at this point, guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's wearing the same clothes so. yeah. that he yeah. had on uh, the previous day, I've, but uh, I've he's, scuff, I've scuffed he's roughed my, up. I've scuffed my face yeah. from chin straight to the nose. Well, how did that happen? Well, I kind of remember being slapped and waking up and having a policeman with a with an English policeman's hat on leaning over me screaming hello 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 and behind him a cab driver going ah, well, you have to, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's him that's him that's right him. and then and then the next thing i remember is that guy the policeman's still there going waking me up there's some water in my face and then uh i'm checking for money and then the next God. thing i remember uh is the two policemen laughing at me and i think they might have taken the money off me or they might have given it to the taxi driver don't know i don't think i had any i think i'd been beaten up at po- that point already i think i was already bleeding and then the next and, and why they didn't put me in a cell i don't know but they just 
this is English police authorities for you. I, I obviously. Where were you just on the office floor? I, no, I was outside in the waiting room. Oh, waiting. okay. I, I, mean, yeah, I yeah. don't know. All I remember is seeing a poster that said, "If you're here, you, if you read this here, haven't had enough absinthe." And, uh, <laughs> and then, and then, and then I remember stumbling at home, and everyone was really upset with me because they'd been up all night, being worried about where where I was. Because if Craig was in that state, and he's a strong, you know, young. <laughs> Stud of a man, and I'm just a fat forty-year-old guy. Where can you I, be? Yeah, what, I, I, what sort of peril no, might? Of, film? Cor- of yeah. course, we're heading towards the punchline of the story, though. Of yeah, course, because Which is because I, I stumble in and I'm yelled at by my girlfriend, screaming at me because yeah. she's been called over. She doesn't live with me, but she I'm I'm dead as far as everyone's concerned. And so they're all screaming I'm still at the me. Top. My head's ringing, so I try and climb in under my covers into bed. Craig's all asleep in his, and we've uh, both been euthanized. Uh, yeah, and, and, and then and then the phone rings. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on the house phone, nobody answers it because we never answer the house phone. Mm. Of course, Wilmot's voice comes on, <laughs> chipper and chirpy, like like he'd uh, like he'd been at the park that day. Uh, definitely had had a good breakfast, yeah. and just said, "Hey, hey fellas, guys. absolutely awesome <laughs> to see you guys." Don't see enough of you. Great night. You know, great night. Uh, you know, hope to see you as soon as possible. Safe travel. See you later. Hey, 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 love you, Mike. Mike. And we're just literally <laughs> pulling our teeth out of the drain, trying to figure out where our shoes are. Yeah. It's like, never drink with Mike, Mike Wilmot. Wilmot. That's and the and he thing. had as much as you, right? Oh, oh well, I probably more. more. I For think sure. he was, he was chasing it with beers. Just, he, he's a man that drinks a pint of beer in two gulps. So the first one, this is just the way he drinks, though. He likes to really, uh, you know, feel it. it. You yeah. gotta feel it. Yeah, and no <laughs> discernible personality. Uh, no, not at all. In fact, no. probably probably more capable when he's drunk. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah so no screaming vomit from you, Phil. Not that I'm aware. Of. Not that you're aware. Of. Not right. That I'm aware. Of. That's right. I, I, I were very well could have. I very well. But piecing it together, something happened. Maybe I got in a cab and fell asleep, or didn't pay him, or vomited. Couldn't find your house. In the Did, couldn't find the house. Yeah. Didn't have any money on me. Whatever the deal was, he ex- dumped me at a police station, which I recently went past, where near where I now live, and realized yeah. that's the police station. I remember. Wow. I remember that police station. So I walked yeah, from. Yeah, the uh, I walked from Crouchen <laughs> to Wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bouge, oh, oh, oh I've been arrested. Here. Deja vu. <laughs> and yeah. where was it? Uh, it's the Crouch End. It's a police station in yeah. Crouch End. Yeah.